Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What, what are you doing? We're not ready for you. The camera is too far away. The lighting isn't right. Um, and we haven't got our microphones in the right. But what are you doing? You've come too early. No, we're too late. Look how far away we are. Hello, all the way at the back there. Yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it was mine at this week is technical hitch week. I don't even know if you're out there. Are you out there? Hey up, everyone, says uh, Kevin Hall. It's lovely to see you. We are here. I've just got to do some maintenance. We seem to be very far away. Hello. So um, I'm going to do that. And in the meantime, the lovely Julia is going to sing Rule Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. Something, something, something. Didn't we have a nice day the day we went to Bangor? Yes. And that's your microphone there. That's my microphone there. there. We've got uh, we've got stuff. We've got jugs Loads of water. Of we've got. I don't know why we've got a jug of water. Ah, well, I'm going to reveal that in a minute. All righty. Yeah. So just keep right, them just, am amused for yeah, a, you, you, a, a gentle moment. You, you skedaddle. Do what you need to then. Steve Pilfold is having a good laugh. I'll do what I can to hold the fork. You see, the thing is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh jeez. Yeah. We didn't want to be orange, and um, granted until. Two minutes ago, I suddenly remembered when I turned the camera on that I hadn't tweaked the camera and I couldn't remember how to tweak the camera, so I changed the camera, which is why this camera is miles away. So just bear with us. Keep them amused. Tell I'll, them a story. I'll tell them a story. I don't know what it is. Mutter, mutter, mumble. Ah, uh, yeah. So what, what's this book here for, anyway? Oh, no, no I'm going to show them. All right, okay. I'll tell them that one. Okay. Tell them, um, where do we go today? Where did we go today? We went to... Where did we go today? Oh, we went to Chichester. Yeah, we went to Chichester. Yes. And what did we do in Chichester? Oh, we went to Centurion Way. Yes. And we met with a group of people. What kind of people? Lovely people. Nice oh, lovely people. people. People who enjoy the... Um, oh, hello. Zooming. <laughs> uh -huh. um, people who enjoy the pedestrian and bike path that is Centurion Way. Ah. Yeah. We saw lots of trees down there, didn't we? And what is Venturian Way? Venturian, Centurion. Yes. Who 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 got that one wrong? Was that me or you? I, no, uh, I just wondered what it was. What is it? Well, it's a bike path, isn't it? Oh yeah. In whereabouts in Chichester? Um. Yes. Yes. Whereabouts in Chichester is it? Oh, I don't know about whereabouts in Chichester. No, I mean it's in Chichester. Did we tell them? That oh yeah, no, Chichester? we said it was in Chichester. Oh okay. I yeah. have no idea if you guys can actually hear him muttering away down there. No, probably not. But anyways. Does that look alright? That looks fine, I think. What do you guys think? Does it look okay? Is that dark? Oh, I've lost all the comments. So we've got lots of people in today. We've got Andy Joy, Robert Closer, Maya, Ullman Harwood, Steve Pilfold, Matthew Holdsworth, Paul, Suzanne Watts, <laughs> David Carey, Dan Thompson, Ann Osborne, Matthew Holdsworth, Fiona Cooper, David Henry, no. Oh, I've just done what he does. Henry, David, Allen, um, Mark Green, Jane Ainsley. Anyone else? Lots more people. Richard Suggett, Kevin Hall, Mark Green. Did I say you? I think I might have. Hey, yeah. So, usual culprits and a couple more, I think. I don't think I need this. Good. Because I didn't find anything in there yet. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Vogue show. We are back in business. It was a slight moment there of technical hitchiness, but the lovely Julia, I think you'll find, managed to cover up exactly what it was. What did we do today? Should we tell them? Yes. Oh, you've just told them. <laughs> we oh, had yeah. a lovely walk. We had a lovely walk. And we got a little bit damp. Yes, we were going to make a video. Um, or there was... we could say moist, but sorry. We, we were say... going to make a little video. Yeah, and uh, but unfortunately because it was raining and we got a little moist, uh, we couldn't do the video. So instead we made a podcast and that will be coming out fairly soon. We, the lovely Julia took copious amounts of photographs, um, mostly of... Um, Trees. Trees. But uh, there were other things included in that. But it's funny you should mention trees because we're going to be talking about trees in today's show. Trees mm. are good. Look, I collected something and I wonder if I hang this up in front of the camera, whether... It, I don't know if this is mistletoe. It's a bit early for that, isn't it? Um, I wonder <laughs> if try. anybody... I wonder if anybody can tell me what they are. Here we are, look, I'm hanging it up. Uh, Robert Crosser says, you got my name right. Well done, Julia. Crosser. Oh, is it me that gets it wrong? Yeah, oh. I think so. Uh, yes, okay. 
Is it is it Crocer you say? Crocer is how Crocer. I would say it. Oh, do I always get it wrong? I'm so sorry, Robert. Yeah, Crocer would have two S's, I yes, think. Yes, of course it would. I'm so sorry. It's hit me on the head with a very hard bat. Ouch, Simus. Now, um, <laughs> before we go any further, whilst you're guessing what those funny, strange things are, and they are funny and they are strange, and I apologise if you don't know what they are. Balls, oh. <laughs> says Kevin Hall. Yes. Oh, birth. same to you, mate. Yes. They look conquerish, but I don't think so. There we are. Keep guessing, which is lovely. Close. Oh, Henry's got it right. Henry knows exactly oh, what it good is. Oh, Henry. He's a very clever person, is good Henry. Good young Henry. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Now, um, I the lovely Elaine Brazier, who watches this show from all the way over in Dover, she very kindly sent me a book the other day, and you had a look at it, didn't you? And you told me it was about old inns and things. Oh, yes, that one. And we had a good old laugh, didn't we? If you remember, we that was that moment... It sounded nice, didn't it? That laugh noise. Yeah, and the book. Oh, and the book. And that was the time when we actually had a laugh, and people did find it funny, and they enjoyed themselves, and, and people were writing to their MPs saying, you wish we could have this bloke and this girl, late lady, on the show... More well, you're, we're all not on the show frequently. I mean, you know, in our lives a lot more, and you know, send them shed loads of money and and all that kind of stuff was happening. Anyway, the lovely I don't know where that went. The lovely Elaine Brazier then said, "Don't worry, Richard. I'm sending you another book. I picked up two by mistake, and I've got one. Don't know what to do with it. I was going to put it on a bonfire and uh, or put it between sandwiches. Um, however, instead, she sent it to me. And this, Mark Selwood, eat your ears off." Because, I don't know if he's out there, Mark Selwood, because this is a book all about Northumberland. Funny enough, it says Cornwall on the cover there, but uh, actually it's all about Northumberland. No, it is about Cornwall. <laughs> of course it's about Cornwall. Silly. What do you mean Northumberland? Can't what? you read? D Julia writes the scripts, by the way. I just read it out. You know, there's a teleprompter in front of the lens. You can't see it, of course, and I can't see it. Um, but it's got some beautiful pictures in it uh, and it's all about Cornwall. So I thought when we go down to Mark Selwood to visit the lovely Julia and I, we will use this as an up to date written in about 1932 as an up to date guidebook. Can I make a little request? If of anyone's course. got any more recent books on these topics, please do send them to me. Mm -hmm. Care of him. Yeah. Just so we've got, you know, some even footing to go on when we go on these adventures. <laughs> Why? Are you worried I'm going to take you down to some places that no. do not exist? Yes. Anyway, the plea is a good plea because if you do have sitting on your shelf some joke. old guidebooks to places, you know, the old shell guide or the Bay Decker uh, guides to or the, um, the old AA b b books or the RAC versions of or train journeys for lemmings or something like that, you know, cliff, drop, cliff tops to jump off, those sort of books. If you've got any of those sitting on your shelf and you think, I really don't ever watch these books anymore because they're tucked away on the shelves and why would you? And, and also, the you notice some of these old books, the screen doesn't work so well. You know, you try and move it along and it doesn't. Some of the icons won't click on these old books. Well, if you've got any of those and you don't want them, send them to us. The care of the lovely Julia, Bald Explorer Show, Bald Explorer Land, Worthing, West Sussex, BN11, something, something, something. So um, just put... Just put the Vobe show and it'll get here. Or email Richard... Vobes Tower. Yeah, Vobes Towers, Vobesland in Worthing. And it will get here. Uh, that, I can assure you. Sorry, my microphone's a bit low. There we are. It's a bit higher now. And uh, actually, I'll put yours up a bit because we're always a bit quiet in this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Elaine Brazier, for that book. That was absolutely fantastic. And thanks, everybody, for coming along and joining the show. It's been great. Well, that was a quick show, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, no, wait, there's more. There's more. There is more. Um, is yes. Uh, uh, Joe Smith has arrived, so we can now crack on. Hello, Joe. Hi, Joe. Nice to see you. Shirley Ward is here, which is fantastic. Um, Robert uh, Crozer. What did you say? Crozer. Crozer. Crozer and Crozer, he gets. Crozer, although he's up north. Hi, up north, lad. Know what I mean? Um, Dean Cooper says Cornwall is a beautiful place. Images from there are the same as the Caribbean. What? Possibly. Same. What? Hang on. When you go to the Caribbean, uh, Mr. Cooper, when you go to the Caribbean, do you go to that sort of rocky outcrop that's sort of a bit, you know, at the end of England near Land's End, that 
kind of Caribbean? Or do you go to the one that's over the Atlantic, which is more sort of sand and uh, dusky skins and beautiful sunsets and tequilas on the beach with semi-naked women? Do you go to that one? Because I think you may be getting your Caribbeans mixed up. Anyway. Anyway, moving off. Uh, yes, from a London plane, these are these. Now, I know this is the fruit, but I wanted to know, could you stick them in the ground and are they seeds? Can I open one up? Yeah, open one up. Well, I don't know. Can you? That's a, that's a good question. Can that's I? It. Can you? I don't know. We're going to find out, ladies and gentlemen, live on the show. Are we? What is inside? We should have got we should have got one of those dissecting knives. Hey, we've, we've got a, a woodlouse here. Oh, we've got a woodlouse. Don't yeah. panic. All Don't right. Don't panic. Come here, little guy. What are you going to do with it? Eat it. Well, true. I'll let him stay there for a bit. Yeah. Rescue you later. Yeah. We'll squash you up. And make yeah. you into pulp. Look, look. It's like these little fluffy Flat. bits. All oh, right. So no actual seeds. No. All right. So In thanks. fact. Are they the seeds? They might be the seeds. Well, we need to look that up. Maybe somebody who's got uh, five minutes, you know, perhaps during the show when you're bored, could you look up London Plain seeds and tell us... Could you do that? Because we don't have a chance. Tell us if these things that hang on a London Plain tree are seeds because the reason for that is we're going to do a bit of planting. I got that bit in my eye. You got that in your eye. Oh, sweet gum tree. No, Richard. Hollywell Bay. You need to go there. Ah, Richard Suggett says my experience of Caribbean was very different. Also of Cornwall. Yes, I, <laughs> that's what I thought. Uh, Mark Selwood says, "Give me Cornwall more than the Caribbean." Cornwall is in his blood. Hello, Mark. We've got um, we've got the book you wrote. You sent it to Elaine, and she sent it to me. It's very nice. He, he wrote it in the nineteen thirties. Lovely bloke. Uh, thank you very much for that. Um, not, no, lychee. Not lychee. lychee. What, what are you talking about? Lychee. Anyway, uh, yeah, London, London, have a quick look up at London Plain. Um, and we'll come back to you in a minute because we've got something to play in. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, have a look at this. We nipped outside earlier today and we did this. Hello, I'm Richard Bobes. I'm Julia Hartley. And we're in Julia's, well, we're just outside Julia's um, kitchen garden allotment on a very blowy, busy day. Why did we choose to do this outside, Julia? Well, it's a bit messy to do inside, isn't it? It is a bit messy to do inside. You're quite right. And I've got a spoon. I'm hoping that we're going to eat something. Why a spoon? Because it'll hurt more, you idiot. Ah. Now. Film quote, which one's that from? I have no idea. Ah. Do you know what these are? Yes. Cups. Yes. If you make a cup of coffee out of there, you can It'll make a nice... It'll all spill out the bottom. Oh. In that case, got another idea. We've been out... We've been out picking up acorns. Acres and acres of acorns. Because, you know what? It's acorn dropping season. And that means... These little... The acorns have been pooping everywhere. Yeah, no. Oak trees have been pooping. The acorns are the poop. Acorn dropping. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Anyway. See, look, that's an acorn, ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't know what an acorn looked like, it's uh, now down on the floor. Apparently, I read this morning that the acorn, the word acorn, has been removed from the Children's Dictionary. The Oxford English Children's Dictionary. Acorn has been taken out. You've got to be kidding. No, no, that's what I read this, mor this morning. Why would they do that? I don't know. Anyway, the idea is that there's not enough trees, ladies and gentlemen, so what we thought we would do is going to help trees survive by surreptitiously growing some. We're going to grow some oak trees today, and um, then we're going to, once they become saplings of a certain height, and we haven't decided whether it's a foot or two foot or three foot or six foot or two hundred foot, um, we are then going to plant them, aren't we, lovely Julia? Yes, lovely. We are. So, in order to grow acorns, obviously you shove them in your ear. Obviously. No, like that. Plenty of, uh, plenty of soil in there. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> really? Flapping that much? Now. Gosh. No, we, what we need to do is bung them in some pots. What, just bung them in? That's it, they'll grow like that, won't they? Won't they? Should we get the soil? Oh. Yes, okay, so um, we went to uh, a shop, not that one, because they didn't pay us to do any of this. And they, uh, don't, they don't sell soil either. They, they don't sell it, they Strangely. just don't. But uh, what they do sell is very nice 
um, tobacco, chewing tobacco. It really tastes... No, it's not really. Um, it's, I know uh, you're joking, but it's still... Oh. <coughs> Anyway, this is all purpose, fertil not fertilised, is it, what is it? Compost. Compost. So I figured, do you want a spoon with that? Yeah, hang on, hang on, let me just yeah. rescue the acorn. Rescue the acorn. How deep? Is your love, deep is your love, how yeah. deep? Do you think that <clears throat> much is about a amount? You can't see in there. No, that's, that's yeah. a, little bit, a little bit more. Break that up. Breaking up is hard to do. Mm. Glad we didn't do this in the studio now. And... So now, once we've done that, you're going to plant it. This is the official moment, ladies and gentlemen, where we give birth to a new oak tree. Is there a specific way that they need to be put in? I think they fall from the acorn and in a very... should they be brown or should they be green? Well, whichever... So many questions are coming to mind. Why are you making it in that funny sound? I don't know. It's very funny. Oh, well. Anyway, um, but bung it, whoops, just bung it in any old how. I think it goes that way. Yeah. Well, actually, we can do them in different ways, can't we? Not that we'll know, because we didn't mark them. And in fact, one of them actually says, red cherry so that's going to can be confusing right i'll get the next one ready and you can plant this and then i'll get the next one ready and you can plant this thank you and then having done the planting but have you done it already gosh you're very swift with that planting all i have to do is boink sit yeah it's true and then shall i cover them up you've got to have the boink in there, oh yeah but boink. i don't know why you do and we'll cover them up not too much, not too much. Oops. I missed that one. And you, you used a spoon for this way? Because I, I didn't want to use my hat. A trowel would have done the job just Yeah, but that. a trowel is huge, and you know how a trowel will go over... Um... You have obviously... You're not very expert with your trowel then, huh? No. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so this is part one of a whole new series of videos of which we have no idea whether that will be any more. But do tune in to um, The Vogue Show because on The Vogue Show we'll be checking every time we do a show whether there's any growth in our pots. I know what you're thinking. You're potty. Worm. <laughs> hey, worm. Look at that. Say hi. Ooh, wiggly worm! Hi! Hi, yes. wiggly worm! There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, garden and his name is Wiggly Woo! There's a... No, no, just the once. Oh, just the once, there we go. <laughs> anyway, his name is Wiggly Woo, and if you'd like to send a letter to Wiggly Woo, his uh, address is Wiggly Woo, care of Ye Old Baldy Garden Show. Now then, uh, let's go back to the comments and see how you are figuring. Mark Selwood says uh, he's chewing tobacco, nearly wretched at that. It's only uh, manure, isn't it? It's um, compost. Compost. Yes, yeah. uh, I don't know what that is. Malcolm Glazer says the new John and Yoko of the 2000, they planted acorns in the 60s and 70s. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder where they planted them and whether they the trees have uh, come up. That would be interesting, that, wouldn't it? That would be cool, because I really like the beetles. That would be a nice little... Mark, oh, Mark, so it says, fly on the wall cam. I do wonder what Richard and Julia are doing right now. Oh, what? In, when we turn the thing off, actually. Picking these. Yeah. She has made a right mess. Look, look, this, that's the kind of stony thing from in the middle now. Yeah, thanks uh, for that. I don't think that's the seed. No, I don't think that's the seed. It's a right mess now, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Uh, I recognise those pots, says Richard Suggart. Yeah. Ah, does he? Would they? Yeah, he, he would. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, next week, sycamore helicopter planting. Oh, yes. There you Not go. Not a bad idea. We've got all that. Now. The sycamore. There, there are a lot of sycamore. Yeah. Surely we could find a slightly more native one. A, a, a healthy more? No. Anyway, um, so we planted we planted three acorns. However, ladies and gentlemen, I went on to YouTube earlier today and I wanted to know if there was anything else we ought to learn about acorns going and planting them you see because the idea is once we've done that we will take them out into the wild the great wild world and surreptitiously put them in the ground and hope that they will turn into lovely trees that the uh, the future generations can enjoy and you know stick them all across motorways and things so now we have over there a large jug of water could you bring the large jug of water in front of you so people can see it um, which will be grand. No, not on your head. Uh, <laughs> no, not there. Um, more, more there. Yeah, well, where they can sit, look, I reckon in front of your microphone would be a good place. You see? 
That's good. We, have, we haven't got a separate camera on tonight. We've barely got the one camera. Don't ask for miracles, ladies and gentlemen. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to bosh you about then. You bosh me about? Bo no, well, bosh. Bosh, bosh away, you Bosh, know. bosh. There we are. Look, You're the director. Oh, yes, that's true. Now, um, one of the things was that I didn't realise that what you should be doing is taking your nuts, I mean your acorns, and um, seeing if they float or sink before oh. you plant them because if they sink it means they're okay but if they float it could mean that there's air pockets insects have already burrowed in or that uh, something's not sitting right in the thing so the uh, wise wisdom is that make sure they don't float so cool. we've got a bowl over there a pink bowl with acorns in it and the lovely julia is going to put in one at a time we want to see if they f will they float or swim. There's a comment then. It's no. very, very related. Okay. Maya Ullman Harwood. My class are called Oak Class. From little acorns, mighty oaks grow. That's ah, so cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So right. Go on, place them in. I'll like, drop them like in. You... Yeah, just drop them in. Know, I'm just going to place it like that. Okay. Well, okay. That one's sunk. Can I do one? Go on then. <laughs> what was I expecting? Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah, no, that one's sunk. No, that can... Because I'm vindictive like that. Yes. Don't get on the wrong side of the lovely Julia, by <laughs> the, the way. Rock while it comes out. Yeah, well, I've seen that earlier today. Right. All in. Oh, are these for me? Yes. Oh, we're going to have fun. Fun. Oh, <laughs> no, you don't get any more. Where? We've got to have these in. Oh, that oh. was my head. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Oh, we've got two floaters. Two floaters? Oh, we have got two floaters. Wait, how many floaters can we have? Is there any more? Oh, look, is that... Is that... So, out of... I don't know how many, there's about 15. We've got two floaters, so we better remove the floaters. About 19, 20 there. Did you just count them? Yeah. Oh, clever. Thanks. Oh! <laughs> Right on a knock-in. <laughs> My turn. No, 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 no. That's a great bonking crate. Conker. Did you want the crate? The, the crate is the conkers in the... Hey, look up there. No. No. No, look up there. <sighs> ah, right, OK, we got rid of those. Um, when the cleaners come in in the morning, they're going to just, like, you know, think what the hell's going on, won't I? You got cleaners? Yeah, I kind of said... Won't I? Oh, won't I? When the cleaners... Oh, yeah. yeah don't worry. I was only half listening. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Anyway, so that is a good sign, ladies and gentlemen. That is a very good sign that these are all right. Now, I don't know what the ones that we uh, planted are like, and we're going to have to pray. We can't pull them out now. So, can't we? It's only been a few hours. Oh, yeah, we could pull them out, couldn't we? Because I was going to get you to water them. So in, in these pots, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to very... Oh, look! <gasps> it's a tree! Nothing has happened. Every day I'm going to pull them out and have a look. Yep, that one's still good. And this one? <gasps> no, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a waste of time then, wasn't it? Can I have it well, back? Well, I'd rather be sure. Come on, mate. They've got to go down about um, so many, about two centimetres, something like I'll that. I'll dig it down a bit further then. Oops. Now I've got black fingers. Oh, yeah. There's water here. Mm. We're going to drink that later. Yum. Yeah. Um, we want one more. You're going to chew it for tobacco. And oh, yeah. Drink that for washing it down. Mmm, tasty. So we're just going to check the last one now, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, is and then we've got to... What? Is it really in there? Yes. Dig deep, dig deep, dig deep, dig deep, dig right down to the forty. Was it all right? It's fine. It's oh. Right down... Never mind. And then cover it right up, a couple of centimetres underneath there. And that's very exciting. Are <laughs> well, you a monkey? Yes. Good. Now, lovely Julia, without soaking my laptop and causing the, the show to fizzle in a great puff of... Are you just tempting fate here? Yes. What are you asking me to do? To We've got to make these moist. Whoa! Hmm... A little bit moist. That's why I put them in plastic pots. You can't see this, ladies and gentlemen. It's protected by the uh, the multiple 
Um, there we are, look. And when, what we're going to do, I don't know where we can put them, because obviously at this stage they don't need any light, because they're under no, under thing. They... And the, the, oh, virus protector, yeah, they go away, virus thing. Um, it won't be until March, April time to they've germinated and start to grow. Whilst I find somewhere to do it, you can read out the comments. Yes, because I'm confused. What's going on down there in the comments? Oh, ah, what are you going to do? What? Oh, yeah, Mark Selwood misses, yeah, certain comments from uh, from Andy Ash. I'm surprised you're not coming up with them, Mark, but never mind. Uh, yeah, but Andy Ash seems to have vanished off the face of. Uh, hopefully he'll come back, Andy Ash. Yeah, we miss well. you if you're out there. Um, I know I can't understand what's. I know I'm trying to catch on the thread here. I'm trying to get my brain in there. Where? Else? Hope it's not the computer, says George Timperley, replying to Dean. I'm just trying to work out what. Oh, someone's gonna wear that jug in a minute. Careful. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a blap. There you go. Much is obliged, thank you. Uh, Robert Croser says, I get floaters after a curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Plenty know that we do. really wanted to know that, actually, mm -hmm. Robert Croser. Croser? S yeah, well done. Thank you. Steve Pilfold says, the Rottweiler came out today. On set, Barney and a celebrity flounce on the Centurion Way. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Was there a huge set, Barney? Barney? No, there wasn't. Oh, the, oh, the Rottweiler. You Come being out. the Rottweiler. Oh, yeah. I yeah. was just putting my foot down, being assertive. Oh, yeah. I think you can be assertive. And defending myself, because you yeah. were flinging water at me. Yeah, that's... Anyway. Anyway. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right, I'll tell you what we do now. What do we do now? The gallery. The gallery. Oh, the gallery. Seeing as I've turned this computer on, Mark Selwood, what were they doing... Uh, during the other video, oh, apart from making that mess, I realised I hadn't turned this computer on. Everything was a bit bit bonkers, wasn't it? So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, these are the pictures that people have been putting up. The lovely Julia has, of course, been delving deep into the Bald Explorer group to find those pictures which exemplify the marvels of what goes on behind the scenes in your lives and that you post up and she picks out a picture and shoves it into a list sends it to me i bang it on the machine and we're going to look at it now and then the lovely julie's going to read it. you know what it goes i don't know why i'm explaining it why am i explaining it? you I do it know. every time yeah sorry about it no 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 i mean you do it that's what you do and that's they know that's what you do i don't need to explain them tell me to stop well, you I'm do it every time i think too maybe uh, oh yeah anyway Enough of this gay banter. Let's see if we can find the uh, the gallery and the gallery Muzak. Oh, and of course they can't hear it. Playing. Wait, let them have that. Doing a different dance today, just in case there's any music on. Oh, there it is. I'm out of time, but never mind. <laughs> Anywho. So we have a slight technical hitch. I think a lot of water has ended up in the other computer that plays the music. But never mind all that business. Let us crack on, if we may. So, uh, yes, here's our first picture of the day. This picture, you've gotten rid of my notes. Oh, yes, the notes are coming back. Here it's from are. Steve Pilfold. Um, this was from the Mayfield Bonfire Society when they did their remembrance oh, yeah. event. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? I don't, because no. I wasn't there. Oh, right. Um, oh, that was it. That was it. Sorry, I thought it was a much more... <laughs> I thought it was that long one there. Nope. Right, OK. And and it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's Let's... interesting. Yeah, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? <laughs> this one is from Terry Wood, and it's Exeter... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's Exeter. Exeter Castle. It's a very nice castle, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I've been to Exeter, but I don't remember the Exeter Castle when I went. Mm. They must have made it since I was uh, last there. This particular image struck me in particular. What in bit? particular, particular. Yeah, the brick fall <laughs> on the top of your head or something? Yes, that's right. It struck you that way, didn't <laughs> No, it's all the, the, the trees and the, the uh, plant life growing around and on it. Oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a prefab, Catch. isn't it? <laughs> what, the plant life? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what about this, then? This is from Wendy Wakelin. Oh, we like Autumn Wendy Autumn Countryside Show is at the Weald and Downland Museum. 
It's on the first weekend of October. Always a great event, very busy and plenty to see with lots um lots. scrolly scrolly. Yeah, lots of scrolly scrolly. Lots of Lots of old-time farm traditions. Do you know, when I saw this picture, my first thought was, oh, this is from Eastern European. <laughs> I thought, oh, it's like, you know, we've got some old-fashioned farmers out in Eastern European and they're still working away. But it's cool. a wee bit closer than that. It is. Closer to home than Down that. at Singleton. It's only uh, in uh, Hampshire, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, is it Hampshire? Is it st- No, it's still in Sussex. Still in jolly old Sussex, if I remember rightly. Uh, so that's marvellous. Okie dokie, what about this lovely this one? This photograph is mm. from Andrew Graham. It's the Guild Hall in Worcester and the 18th century cells that lay below. These are not normally open to the public and saw many a man taken from there to be hanged. Oh, gruesome. That is a gruesome one, Andrew Graham. Oh, what are we going to do with that? Uh-huh. Let's change the tune, something more fun. A little bit more chubby. Yeah. Um... Cheryl Craggs, this is from. The, the baths, Your mate. My mate. My bezzy. The Baths at Chester's Roman Fort and Museum in Northumberland. I told you that book was about Northumberland. I've seen those pictures in the Northumberland <laughs> book called Cornwall and its best assets. <laughs> and it was all down to Cheryl. Well done. Yeah, I nearly said Cheryl, but I'm going to say Cheryl these days. Yep. And this one is from Cynthia Walder. Oh, no, it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened on this one then? She took a trip to Stansted is that yep, Stansted House Park Park and St Paul's Chapel today. Oh, very nice. I wonder if she saw any aeroplanes at Stansted. Oh not that Stansted. Silly me. Is this Joe Smith by any strange quirk? This is Oh no, wait a minute, it's a doorway. <laughs> Joe doesn't look like that. <laughs> Um, for some reason, I, I keep thinking I've already put this one on a gallery, but I, I don't think you have. I've not no, seen it before. No, I think it's just because I keep going to going back to look at it because ah. I like it so much. This is from Joe Smith, as yep. you just said. I do. It's Small Hythe Place in Kent. Lovely. Built between 1490 and 1540, and in later years, the home of the wonderful actress and incredible woman, Dame Ellen Terry. Oh, I've seen all her films. <laughs> she died there in 1928. I haven't seen any of her films. There was more information, but I couldn't fit it on the air. Uh, uh, oh, it's just as well. Um, what about uh, this lovely one here? This lovely photograph is from Maggie Walters. Oh, yeah. And it's the spring tide. The waves were impressive, and I would definitely agree with you there. They Maggie. were, yeah. It's a really what, lovely picture. It, it, you said it was a spring tide. I wonder where that is. Whether that's Anglesey or down in Cornwall, where she was. Um, I think Cornwall, but don't quote me because I. I've got a book on Cornwall. Did I tell you? <laughs> I've got you this lovely. Them. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Goodness is me. this the TARDIS? It it certainly is. A, what the TARDIS is uh, supposed to be? Not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a time travelling spaceship oh yes that actually is supposed to be able to chameleon into various disguises doesn't it oh yeah it just so happens that the police box is what it's supposed what it got stuck on oh i see apparently yeah according to canon but yeah no this is this is from canon yeah you know um the fiction the canon of fiction oh i see sorry i thought you were like storylines and stuff all right anyway so this is from mark taylor anyway good old mark taylor he simply says it's a beautiful day in scarborough Bearing in mind some of these photos are at least a week and a bit old. Yes, beautiful day in Scarborough. And actually, you know, he went into that t- at police box there and he it was, um, he was what what did, what did he call it when he goes in the police box and he gets, and he goes... Um, what did he call a TARDIS when it materialised and disappeared? I don't know if it's, it's actually like, got a name. Oh, well, anyway, he went when he went to Scarborough... But that was a very good noise, well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Well. Okay. <laughs> I thought the TARDIS was appearing in the in the studio. In the studio, I'm sure everybody thought that. Uh, and the final picture of the day. This is from Paul Hine, and it's it's the ruins of Trayford Church in West Sussex. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That was our visit to the Galari. G- g- glory. The Galari. The Galari. Yeah. We're weirdos. But never mind. Never mind us. Uh, it's everybody else. Let's have a look at the comments and see if anybody's still there. Yes, Henry David Allen says, I've been to Exeter and not seen the castle. It must be new. I know. I think it's new because I went to the car. No idea. I reckon it's not actually in Exeter. I think it's outside somewhere. You know, because I saw trees around it. So it must have well, been outside. It wasn't indoors. Well, Exeter Castle, just because it's called Exeter doesn't mean it's in Exeter, No, because right? look at Leeds Castle. That's not say. in Leeds, is it? That's in Blooming um, Kent. Kent. 
Yeah, sometimes these people, you know, they bung the castles in the wrong places. I don't know if you've noticed that. You know, they say, oh, Worthing Castle. Very nice, Worthing Castle. It's in the Outer Hebrides. You've got to go a long way to get to <laughs> Worthing Castle. I mean, it's, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it. You get the, you know, the, uh, the little uh, flag and the uh, bucket and spade and the hand grenade. You get it all. At Worthing Castle. Uh, David, uh, Henry David, hello, thank you for getting my name wrong, uh, says, uh, <laughs> love Worcester. Done it now. Worcester. Uh, Nikki Chess says, that's beautiful Maggie. Uh, that was the beautiful Maggie. She's gone now. George Timpley says, teleporting. Yes, I suppose it's a form of tele. Yes, well, I was thinking of the... Um... <laughs> Can't do it now. <laughs> No, teleporting is dematerialising and rematerialising, but that's not what actually happens with the TARDIS. See, Something don't else. argue with, anyway, don't, don't argue don't with Julia. <laughs> she is a science fiction buff and knows her stuff. I'd She's like a science be. fiction buff and I she wish knows I was her property. stuff. Uh, Mr Dean M. Cooper says, what does the M in Cooper stand for? Robin Hood came ashore near Seaford. You missed my comment earlier. So, sorry, uh, we don't always see every comment, unfortunately, because um, of the blackout rules. Don't you know there's a moron? Oh, blackout rules, quick! Oh, I'll play along. Okay, we done? You didn't get under the table oh, with me. Oh, I ducked as much as I could be bothered. Here, look, I found another acorn. See in the Ooh. water if it works. It works. It works. It flopped right down to the bot, <laughs> uh, which is great. Matthew Holter says Exeter, Car Ex Exeter Castle is right next to the glorious nightclub called Timepiece. Yes, it's a giant clock. Um, Richard Suggett says, let's confuss them by not actually <laughs> using correct English. Um, he says, let's confuse them with more Goring Castle. Yeah, Goring Castle is an evening Goring. Well, sort of just outside Goring, isn't it? Um, old haunt oh, of yours, Matthew. Oh, away. Who? Did you just suddenly wake up? Were you there and suddenly drifted off into no, a... No, 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 no. Um, the Goring Castle is just outside Goring. Whoa. Spooky. Oh, see, Mars, yeah, spooky. Yeah, yeah. On the comedy club, timepiece was a drivel. Thanks for that. Goring Castle or Castle Goring, says Steve Fold. Uh, Steve, Steve, Steve Fold? Fold? Steve Goodness. Fold. You've lost half your name now, Steve. Now, Steve, um, not only am I criticising you on the comments, but I'm also spitting out your name wrong. I do apologise. seem to be doing it all um, spickety-spoo. Anyway... Um, I think it's time that we heard from another traveller, another time traveller, uh, because yesterday, not yesterday, day before, see, I told you it was time travelling, <laughs> yesterday, no, I've done it again, under the table, <sighs> uh, Monday, we heard from the lovely Maggie and the fabulous Robbie, who obviously, Robbie, we can't get him to stop talking, yabba, 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 he goes on and a bit like me. Um, in the videos, just Robbie. But anyway, we've got another video from uh, from them, um, and I'm going to play it in now. It is the, uh, the I, I don't know whether it's the second or third or what part of their adventure, but they managed to get, they've gone from Cornwall, they were going up to Anglesey, see? And they got past the sea, and they got in there, and they're going to tell you the, the story. But there are moments when um, Maggie turned the sound off. I don't know why. I think it was one of those sort of uh, two-minute silences that she was getting into. But uh, anyway, Maggie, take it away. Oh, this is one of those moments of silence, by the way. But it soon livens up. People, Maggie, Robbie and Dottie, Furbing reporting from Anglesey. We're on a coastal walk today. And yes, it's windy. That's our camping spot just over the way. And we are heading this way on a coastal walk. Don't know if you can see this, but there's lots of butterflies. And a kissing gate, Robbie. Kissing gate, so you better fuck her up. Now 
Now that's quite a chunk broken off from the cliffside. Scary. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one drowning seal. Looked to me like the poor thing was... Uh, 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 help! Help! You all right? You're waving! No, not waving. I'm drowning, you fool! Oh! Oh! How do they make... What noise do they make? Oi! 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 I'm not going to tell you. No, no, please. Well, it sounds... More, no, it's more fun listening to you try. Oi! Oi! No, actually, it's painful. Yeah. It's more like a bark. Um, woof! Woof! Woof. No, never mind. Okay, moving swiftly on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, uh, we planted acorns. Oh, shall we see if the acorns have come up? Here we go. This one's marked red cherry acorn. <gasps> That's right. And actually, ladies and gentlemen, I can reveal to you now, very interesting news, this. If you just look in there, nothing has happened. Nothing. They do recommend that you go and have a look in April, um, March, April time, but um, I'm impatient. Anyway, we'll bung it back there. I, I, I'm not even going to bother to look at the... Oh. No, no, I won't bother. Um, so that's OK. But we also have... it. What else do we have in the rattling tray today? Can, I, can you see that? Yeah, conkers. They are lovely. We picked them up this very day, this morning we did. Um, and again, these... These conkers, butterfingers, uh, butterfinger conkers, they are actually tasty. So the other thing is you can plant conkers very easily. Now, I watched a video this afternoon because um, I had nothing else better to do. And uh, then I decided to do a bit of research on conkers. So uh, having put the, the new Stan and Ollie film to one side, I thought, I wonder what they do. Now, one person, American, uh, that's no disrespect to the Americans, but you know they're a bit weird. They um, they shoved the conker in a plastic bag with a bit of soil and stuck it in the freezer. And they said that in order to germinate, a conker needs to go through winter. I thought that's interesting. That is an interesting thought. So they it, they mimicked winter. They said, you know, normally it's like three months, isn't it, winter? But um, it wasn't American, you know. And uh, Go ahead, drop, it said, it the, drop it on the computer. It's yeah, fine. they said don't drop them because they bruise easily. And so they said instead you can bung it in the freezer for a month. Really? Or if you're very good, you can balance it on your head and it will germinate. And the uh, the little veins, little claws will dig into your skull. I was going to say, it'll grow roots into your skull and you'll become right. a tree. You'll become a tree person. And uh, especially if you have, uh, say, buddlier, which would just match your hair, wouldn't it? A nice purple buddlier coming out your ears <laughs> would be quite a hoot. Anyway, so that's what I thought we'd do next. I did watch another video and he sort of poo-pooed all of that. He just said, stick them in. <laughs> he said, stick them in soil, shove them in, check them. Same sort of time, March and April time, and they'll be great. Just keep them moist with a bit of clunch. 
So uh, we're going to try that. We will be making more of those short little videos. The video that we did earlier that I was eating the uh, the fine grown tobacco, but putting that on Facebook so you can watch that again in plentifold motion. Plentifold motion. What's that? One? I don't know. It's just words come out of my mouth. So would you like a mind bending? Let's get the uh, messages up on Comments. the screen. See what they're saying, lovely Julia. <laughs> Maybe we can have an, an update on yeah. the pot tomorrow. Said who oh, said yes. that? Oh yeah, well, on Friday we'll have Mark a, Selwood. On on the Friday show we'll have an update. Tell you what they're doing. Every show we'll be looking. Richard says I'll have to dig out the seal footage I've got somewhere. And Steve Pilfold says if he's singing "Kiss from a Rose," I'm not interested. <laughs> I like that song. Um. Oh, yeah, Pam Earnshaw says that the conkers are spider deterrents. George Timperley says he knows a good song and knows a song about conkers. I'd be interested in that. Yeah, could you send it to us on a, a video clip with you singing it, please? Or find a, some, you know, link. No, 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 it'd be much well, more Well, it would be nice coming from George, George but was singing, don't, I think don't feel that... the pressure, dude. You no, know, no, hey. feel pressured. Pressured, George. Or we won't go to the Spa Valley Railway. Stop it. Oh, sorry. She's so you're bossy. She's so bossy. But you're so rude. I know. I like it, though. Hmm. Being rude, I mean. Uh huh. Um, Mark Selwood says we both need to have a conquer challenge for Friday. Well, oh. I'm not going to be here Friday because I need my exercise. Oh, yes. Yeah, she's not in uh, on Friday because she disco. goes to the roller disco group. Okay. Maya Ullman Howard says my class is singing a song about conquers. Cool. So could you get the two... class to sing the song on video? That'd be good. And send it. Uh, mind um, you, yeah, parents. parents. Yeah, no, forget that. Yeah, never mind. Actually, George Timperley, you're not old enough. You've got to be over eighteen to send stuff through the internet. Maybe Maya and Emily could sing it for us. Yeah, Maya and Emily, and get George to do the soprano. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy Wakelin says my mum put her monkey puzzle tree seed in the freezer for a while before she planted it. Mm. Oh, did so she? Saw a really lovely monkey tree, pu uh, monkey tree, monkey puzzle tree today in. Um, Priory Park in Ch Chichester, where we or, did the behind the scenes today. Or as the Sussex people say, Chidester. Chidester? No, Chidester. Chidester. Yeah, we went down at Chidester, didn't we? We went down oh. at Ch Chidester and uh, saw the cathedral. And they, oh, the spire's fallen off. Oh, interesting. Okay, anyway. Right, on. here we are. We have a brain teaser for you now, ladies and gentlemen. That's not just listening to the show and trying to make double sense of it. No, that is brain teaser enough. I realise that. And by the way, talking to Wendy Wakelin, should just mention, of course, 22nd coming up. Are you coming to the meet-up? Yes. Oh, they've just looked. They've downed their mouses and they're running away from their computers. No, come back. Not now. On Saturday. How many mice, here's the brain twister, how many mice are there in a room if there is a mouse in each of the four corners and opposite each mouse there are three mice and each mouse's tail there is a mouse? Hmm. I'll read that again. How many mice are there in a room if there is a mouse in each of the four corners... And opposite each mouse, there are three mice. And at each mouse's tail, there is a mouse. So uh, that's uh, something for you to be thinking about over the is next six months. it just me? Months. I can't make any mouse. You can't make head nor tail. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that, all right. If you don't like that one, how about this one? A woman has to cut a roll of ribbon into one metre lengths. If she takes her two... It takes her two seconds to measure and cut a length and the whole roll is 50 metres long. How long will it take her to do it? Richard Suggett says 32 for the mice one. For the mice. Let me have a look. I'll go to the... I haven't read that. I mean, David Keel asks, is it a four-cornered room? That's a good question. It, well, it says... Um, how many mice are there in the room if there is a mouse in each in each of the four corners? Oh, each four corner, okay. So one would assume. 46. Well, I hope you have a good time in Northern Ireland then, Henry David Allen. Allen. He says he'd like to come to the meetup, but he'll be in Northern <laughs> Ireland. Hope you have a good time. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Is, is, it, is it a mirrored room? Oh, 
oh, it's so funny. Is it a mirror drawing? No, but it's so easy. <laughs> it's so simple. It's so simple. Let me read it one more time and then tell you the answer. It's so simple and you'll go, no, why didn't I get it? I think I get it. Okay. How many mice are in the, uh, in the room if there is a mouse in each of the four corners and opposite each mouse there are three mice at each of the mouse's tail there is a mouse? I know. Yeah? It's four. There are four mice. They're just seeing the other mice. The mice at the end of the tail of each mouse is the mouse. Yeah. Mind you, they're not all opposite, so that's confusing, isn't it? And opposite each mouse, there are three mice. Well, yeah. I suppose, yeah, that's true. So there, that was very good, wasn't it? For considering I really didn't get that at first. There's a lot of words. It's meant to confuse you. That's the whole point of yeah, it. Yeah, I won't worry about the ribbon one. That was a bit boring. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Doug? Um, eight corners in the room, says Alex. Well, no, we've given the answer now. Uh, Malcolm Glazer says, no, as I have to care for my mother too long to be away over in Lys. Malcolm, you can't go to Nottingham with a nose blocked up like this. Take this, na cyanide nasal spray, meant to make the mouth water. I think what I've mixed up my adverts there. Uh, Henry David Allen <laughs> no, says thank you. Good to take you. care of your mum. I hope, she, hope she's Pete, all right. Steve Pilfold says there's 99 seconds left. No, there isn't. There's 99. What? 98 seconds. Oh, is that? Oh, on the, you've, have you done the... the uh, oh, he's done the 47. All right, hang on. I'll give you the answer to number 47. 47. What did he say? 98 seconds. Mr. Pilfold. The answer actually is 98 seconds. It says the last cut separates two lengths, so only 49 cuts are needed to get to 50 lengths of a ribbon. Round of applause. Howdy. Well done. That was very good. I'm good. so impressed. What can you say? Nigel Sadler has joined. You've missed so much. Rewind and start again. Yeah. Now, we're going to get something from your book. Tell us the book. Well, it's Women Are From Venus and Men Are From Hell. So it's... Women Are From Venus and Men Are From Hell. Based on that very famous book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Somewhere Else. What was the famous book? Women, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From... Yeah, Women Are From Venus and Men Are From Mars is what it's actually from. All right, OK. But... So give us, give us uh, some quotes out of this fantastic book. All discarded lovers should be given a second chance, but with somebody else. That was a quote from Mae West. So it's, it's a book of quotes. Can you read it slower? So Shira, it... I think I've just lost the page. Or oh, no, 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 the next one. The next one. Yeah. So we savour the words. Ha. The only time a woman can really succeed in changing a man is when he is a baby. <laughs> That's Can change Wood. a man, as in the nappy. Yeah, it's very good. Like that. Go on, give us another one. Okay. That was very good. That was. Yeah, I like it's my sense of humour. That one. Yeah, some some of them are a bit racist. No. Argumentatists. No. A Fishy. Bit, a bit anti men is what I was trying to say. Anti men. Just shut up and let me talk. What with a title like women are from in, Venus in, and men are from hell? As in feminine. Um, um, uh, toxicity. Uh, yes, oh yes, those toxic feminists. Go on. I'm looking for one. Oh, you're looking. I am, I'm looking, looking. She's looking, looking, looking. Ha! Here we go. Ha! Ha! <coughs> <coughs> Clear the old throat. This one is from Anonymous. Oh, yes. Statistics show yeah. there are three ages when men misbehave. Young. Yeah. Old. Yeah. And middle. Right. I thought you were going to say young, old, and everything in between. It's close enough. <laughs> yeah, that's close enough. Yeah, maybe thanks for that. Yeah, anyway. Of, it's the bit... same for a lot of people, though, isn't it, really? But... Yeah, thanks. Okay, I think that's the sort of book that you shouldn't be reading <laughs> because uh, I think that just feeds into your... Um, what was the thing? The Rockweiler thing. You'll just come out with some of those things. We'll be going somewhere and you'll turn around and go to somebody else when I make a faux pas. And you'll be going, yeah, you know what? There are times when men, there are three times when men really cock up or a fool as themselves. When they're young, when they're old and everything in between. And be pointing. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, Malcolm Glazier has apologised. It's all right, Malcolm. We've accepted your apology. But take tunes when you go to Nottingham next no, sorry time. Sorry you can't make it. You were so sorry. Steve Pilford said all that cutting quarter inch tape with razor blades on the side of a Revox 
Cut once, two pieces. Ah, yeah, that's right. That's very true. Uh, Nigel Sadler, you won't understand that, but uh, I did. Nigel Sadler says, hello, just finished playing a family game of Cluedo. So sorry, who have you murdered? And who are you? I bet, hang on, who are, do you think he was Professor Plum? Professor Plum? Yes, I no. reckon. Uh, Andrew Sadler, what's his name? Nigel Sadler. It's some uh, nice uh, winter kindling for you. Oh, don't you like it? <laughs> winter kindling? What's the difference between men and pigs? Pigs don't get drunk and act like men. This da -da -da -da. is what I mean. It's... There are no great men, Buster. There are only men. Yet. Where did you get this from? Try praising your wife, even if it doesn't frighten her at first. All a man expects his wife to be is a sweetheart, a valet, an audience and a nurse. It's not asking too much. Marriage entitles women to protect the protection of strong men who steady the stepladder for them while they paint the kitchen ceiling. Well, anyway, I stopped reading that. Yeah. It's not worth reading. No. Um, if you've got a, an interesting book that you would like to send us that would be much more amusing on the show, then do send it in to the aforementioned dress that we mentioned earlier when we could be asked to give it. Uh, Nikki Jess says, OK, everybody, got to go back to do my work. Good night, everyone, and thank you, and good night. Nikki Jess, we do the good nights and thank you very much. Not you. you you've got it all wrong. We're the presenters. Everyone does a good night. Oh, do they? Yeah, everyone but only when night. we say good night. When we say good night, everyone now goes, oh, right, it's ending. Well, good night, everybody. Good she's night. got to go back to work, so she's getting it in now. Oh, I see. All right. All right. Sorry, Nikki. Sorry, Nikki. I just, uh, you know, it's like, but whenever I've watched television in the past, you know, and you're sitting there watching Nationwide and Michael Barrett's doing his thing. And, you, and I don't send a message into Michael Barrett and say, hey, Michael, uh, good night, everyone. Hope you'll have a lovely time. I can't watch anymore. I'm going up to bed now. I've got to go and play football with the lads. I hate to say it, but, Mike, but whoever he is isn't on Facebook Live with comments. No, he's probably dead, Michael Barrett, sadly. I don't think I know who he is, no. sadly. Nationwide. So it's a programme in the 70s. Everybody remembers Nationwide, apart from, of course, people who are... Born in the 80s. Yeah, who are 20 years younger. Anyway, um, so there we are. If you need something done, do it yourself, hire someone else to do it, or forbid your kids to do it. That's a good one, isn't that it, That is Nigel? a good one. Speak to you in a bit. OK, Nikki, sweetheart. Oh, sorry, I don't think we were supposed to read that bit out. Whoops, a dip. Willie, <laughs> just... Scrolly, scrolly. Scrolling on, moving on, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, uh, by the way, Nigel Sadler, I've got a bone to pick with you. Uh -oh. Yes, I have a bone, a bone. We finished the show uh, a few minutes earlier yesterday and you put the snarky comment. I'm laughing as I say this, but it's meant with malice. Uh, you put the snarky comment, only 57 minutes this time, as if, as if you paid grand... <laughs> Grand amounts of money to watch the show. I know, actually, here's um, a patron, so it'd be nice to him. Um, I'm only joking. <laughs> it just made me laugh. It's like you've been shortchanged by three minutes. We did our best, didn't we? We did. We had orange faces, for goodness sake. We were getting the pip. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you, Mark, little darling, says Nikki. Je can you can you stop all your love talk on, on the no, comments? Going... Okay. Can you, you can do that. Get a room. Get a room, as they say. And Are they talking about this is polite? It, uh, I'm not nigh polite, says Alex Whitlock. It's Michael not, Barrett is a Shaking Stevens real name. Oh, is it? Michael Barrett is still alive, 90 hey. years old. Thank you, Steve. Wow. Oh, good old Michael Barrett. Ba 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 Oh, never mind. We'll find the theme tune and play it another day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very nice to have seen you. We're going to... What time is it now? We're going to leave you... 2102. One... Yeah, we're going to leave you a couple of minutes spare uh, so that we get another snarky comment. Why not? We love them. We love them. Absolutely love them. Apologies for the rubbish book, by the way, guys. I'm going to burn it. <laughs> yeah. And don't burn your bra at the same time. Oh, you need that because yeah, we're going to plant some acorns in him and grow the trees. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hope you've enjoyed the show. The lovely Julia has been absolutely smashing and lovely as ever. The uh, crazy Richard bloke has been crazy and Richard. I shall be on my lonesome Todsome on Friday, but do join me for an interesting show where I shall be talking to you, maybe even at you. Who knows? Uh, such a rude bugger that I am. Yeah. Just before we go, ladies and gentlemen, check those things to see if any got any floaters. Nope. No floaters on there. And um, a quick pokey, because po I didn't check the ones up there. 
Could you have a quick look? We just make sure, because it would be amazing if we've suddenly got an oak tree in the studio. Let's just entertain him, look. <laughs> just entertain him? <laughs> Where's your sense of reality? I know. I'm just off with the fairies all the time. Yeah. You just can't drag me down to the ground. Anyway, you know what I'm going to say? When you hear the music, it's already too late. Oh, yes. I didn't think it had started. It started, ladies and gentlemen. When you hear the music. Yes, <laughs> we have to go, ladies and gentlemen. It's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for enjoying the show. Um, and I hope that you have a fantastic day tomorrow. Whatever you're doing, enjoy yourselves. But from the lovely Julia. Good night. And the lovely Richard. Good night. Good night. Good night. We will see you on the next one. Till then, goodbye. 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 Where's the thing? Bouquets, trees, anemones, fish tanks. We want them all. <laughs> <laughs>